Hi, Bobby here. I'm a software sales engineer here at Visual Planning, the simple resource management and scheduling software. Today I just want to show you a quick demo of what our product can do. All right, here's our goal for today. In this video, I will show you how using Visual Planning can optimize your company's productivity. Whether you are a field service technician or a project manager, a quality collaborative resource management and scheduling software is essential for any productive business. In this demo, you will learn how to apply the following points into your workflow. Number one, scheduling tasks to employees. Number two, work order management. Number three, travel accommodation tracking. Number four, status and operations tracking. And number five, client invoicing. This planner is our field service demo, which is great for companies that send out employees to work on external job sites. This planner works great with our VPGo mobile application that will be demoed in a separate video. Our first view is called Staff Master Schedule and has employees sorted by position. It also shows leave allowance and number of days off left, which will update in real time. You can schedule an absence by clicking and dragging one of the HR options to an employee like this. So say I click and drag a vacation over to Melissa, let go. Say I want to change the event type to daily, we'll toggle it like that, press OK, and now it's on the schedule. Next, you can schedule a task in the same way, but there are some prompts that you must follow. After I drag a task to an employee, a prompt will pop up asking me to pick a client. So if I click field work over, let's say we'll schedule it to Marta, pick one of these clients, then pick a status, we'll just say yes for now. A whole plethora of information can come up here for you to customize and add. So as I scroll down here, we have a, a space for attached files, we have a space for equipment. Um, through our VP Go app, uh, people in the field can obtain client signatures and they will appear here um, in the client version. And as I scroll down here, you can now see travel and accommodation costs that can be calculated and subtracted off of a budget. Once I hit OK, it is now on the schedule. You can also assign equipment by clicking and dragging it here. If I right click here next to staff schedule, hover over staff, there's a bunch of staff filters that we can have here. So if you have a lot of information, it can help you narrow down your search. And if I right click here, go to events, a whole bunch of event filters um, inside the schedule can be obtained through here. All right, moving on. The second view is called technician schedule. This shows only technicians in a weekly view. If I right click inside the schedule and hover over events here, these are some more of the event filters that, that can be shown in the other view here. And one thing here is, say we wanted to change the status of this event, just click, drag, hold control, and it'll be changed to in progress, and the color will change as well. The third view in this demo is called staff individual timetable and history. This diary view has a selection filter already enabled, so as we click on each employee on the left, their schedule will populate on the calendar. While it's enabled, if I click on the days off and training tab, the selection filter will still be enabled. So as I click through the people here on the left-hand side, the shifts change, and same thing. If I click on the days off and training tab, they will also change just to see um, only events for that one employee. All right, moving on. The next view here is called Operations Kanban. Here we have a Kanban chart by task status with event details for each event. As we click on each task, we will see that what status each is on. We can also edit the event by double-clicking on it like this. This is a great way to make sure nothing falls through the cracks. We can also uh, change the different tasks here by clicking through here on the selection filter and just seeing those events here. All right, moving on. The next view is called Invoice and Client Tracking. So here, if I click on the Operations to Schedule tab, you will see all of the uh, invoices here that are completed or to be invoiced or that have haven't been invoiced already. And if I double click on one, it'll open up the event tab. If I go to clients tracking, it has a whole list of events here with all, all the information, uh, including travel and accommodation costs and who uh, the operation was invoiced to. And as I click on the arrows here, it will show all of the events by client. The last view here is called activity analysis. And here we have a bunch of different charts here. On the top left, we have absences and staff activity tracking shows uh, occupation percent. To the right here, we have a task report, which is just gonna show you the percentages of, of each of the different tasks here done. We have a work orders report based on status and a histogram, and a work orders report per client here in a table form. And that wraps up all I wanted to say here in this field service demo. I hope you have a better understanding of how visual planning works. For more information, or if you'd like to sign up for a demo, go to visual-planning.com. 
Lastly, make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter for all resource management and scheduling related content. Have a good one.